Welcome back guys. Thank you so much for joining. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel. This week on Sailing Catalpa, Lee spears us dinner. We go through the Kabui Pass, have a raft up with some catamarans and go on some epic adventures. We are an Australian family that made our boat Catalpa our home and set off on an adventure of a lifetime. We hope these little videos make you smile and inspire you to chase your dreams. Subscribe to join us in our travels as we share our life on the sea. So there's a tower on that little island, so we've just come out for a little bit of a run to get some internet and to have a swim where we know there's no crocodiles. Well, we think there's no crocodiles, but far out, it's so beautiful. So nice. And uh, Lee's going to go back and get the other. Get the boys, get the guns, and see if they go for a spear. Remember, there's apparently crocodiles in the water just below Lee. Matt sneaks up and, well, throws something near him. Wait for it. It's <laughs> 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 like it's got me. I'm done. <laughs> I couldn't move. And the knife, I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> That's how you feed the family with coral trout. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Woo -hoo -hoo. We've uh, just untied the lines from where we are. We've been in a little cove for a few days and uh, we're ready, ready to move on to another place. Um, it's nice in here, but couldn't really swim right off the boat, so it was a bit annoying because apparently there's crocodiles, so we played it safe. We like somewhere where we can swim, so we're going to head off and be somewhere that we can enjoy ourselves a little bit more, I think. The kids are untying the lines from the trees, and uh, I think we're only heading, I think, five nautical miles today. So the first spot we'll go check out is called Pef Island. If we can't stop there, we'll keep going, and um, we'll go to the next spot which is Kandui Pass which was supposed to be really good diving there so pretty excited about that but yes today is actually the first day I've felt really good nearly back to myself after being sick so that's awesome and yeah we're excited to get up and see more of Raja Ampat see all the beautiful areas and and have a good time let's go I got food on my face just arrived at Kabui Pass we're outside of it at the moment. Lee's just gone in the tender with Matt to see if it's okay to go in. Chuck's already gone through. Check it out. It's supposed to be good diving, but it's just real mangrovey and the water's not clear. I don't know. I'm not real impressed so far. We'll see. Maybe we'll just anchor here for the night and head off to a nice place tomorrow. I don't know. If we go through the pass though, we've got to tie up on the other end, so it's a little bit of effort. And if we go through the pass, then we might as well go dive it because apparently it's good, but yeah, I just can't see it. It's, it's bizarre. The last place we stopped at was no good. It looked like mangrovey and brown. About we need clear water so we can go swimming. There's crocodiles. We don't want to hang where there's brown water and crocodiles. Just skip past all those places and uh, head off to the islands. We're not far now from the really beautiful places. All right, we're about to go through the Kabui Pass. Lee's really nervous to go through here. It's quite shallow and the current can be against us um, or with us. He went through in the dinghy already. Chrissy's through the other side, Malachi's in front of us. Yeah, there are some really shallow spots, so he's pretty nervous to go through, but hopefully uh, we're okay. Bella's gonna go in the dinghy and she's got the depth sounder, so she'll go in front of us. Hopefully there is nothing less than 1.8 meters. So we'll go through.
We got through without any dramas. The two catamarans anchored and then stern tied to some rocks and we jumped on the side of Alakai. With the three boats rafted up safely, it was time for a little afternoon dinghy mission. From the outside, this place wasn't real impressive, but it was absolutely beautiful once we got in here. Gotta get closer. Closer. I don't want to get. They they probably off. I feel like no, it's not the crotch I'm worried about. It's just that. You're not worried. I don't want to get too super wet, but I think it's gonna. Happen. You're gonna send it up. You're not gonna get wet. It's <laughs> a good exercise. Yeah. It's your 50 push up. Sit up. 50 push up. You do the pull up. Did I get him? Did I get him? Yeah. That was good. <laughs> I didn't know where the paddle was. I was like, I'm going to get hit in the head with the paddle if I pull any harder. That was awesome. <laughs> Got grabbed. So nice. oh, no <laughs> well, okay. A Liam crocodile pulled me under the ah, boat. Karma. Ah, <laughs> Dang. Homestay, priceless homestay. So 200, so 20 bucks for four people. One five jam, so one to five hours. They were homestays. That one's seen better days. Hey, that's a okay, cave, guys. Should we go get everyone else? We found a cave. Should I go and have a wander? We should get everyone up. We just found a cave. Hey, we think we found a cave up here. We're not really sure, but we're going to go and have a look.
<laughs> Look up there, see it? So, let's turn the corner. Well, I feel like there's stuff moving all around. There's probably like big rats. Holy crap, what are all those noises? Oh, I can hear them. Oh, I can see them. Really? Yeah, look. Whoa, is that hanging? Uh oh. It's only a kilometre walk through. Is it really? Where would you read we'll that? Look out on the other side where the little Oh, beach look is. at all the little bats! Where? <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah. Deep in the caves here, and I've just come across a spider. I'm going to show you. Yes, we're gonna get me, I know it. Whoa, it's like Indiana Jones, the thing's quick, run, they're dropping. Yeah. <laughs> Hanging out. 